Hi, I'm Patricia Power and today we're kickstarting a four-part series with the Unpost Green Hub. We're going to look at your existing home and look at different ways of upgrading and retrofitting your existing home. As part of this journey, you're going to meet Ronan. Ronan is a homeowner who's already taken the first step in this process. So we moved in here in 2007 um, with the great intentions of getting all the work done, you know. But with the cost of living at the time, we just couldn't afford to get the heating in, we couldn't afford to get the insulation and all done. And then as life went on, then we had Jamie. Yeah, Jamie's now, now six, and hopefully then we'll feel the benefits of all this, you know. His bedroom is even cold, you know, so. so. The main problems with the house is that we, we can't really heat it during the day because we're out to work and we have a back boiler, so we have to light the fire. And if we, we couldn't leave the fire lighting during the day when we're not here, and the windows, the windows have condensation in them and all the all the heat goes out the windows as well there's drafts so it just in the morning times it's, it's pretty cold and the insulation in the attic it's non-existent, it's non-existent. Yeah. and even when like when we are heating the house it feels pointless because it just goes straight out through the windows yeah. straight through the roof of the house it should never end yeah. just heat and heat and it just does no good to the house at all so today we're going to look at the external windows and doors and we're going to look at the ways of reducing heat loss and reducing drafts. So what you'll find with the older windows is there is no thermal insulation within the frame. There's no argon gas within the glazing. As well as the window and the glass and the frame, there's the installation of the window. You'll find the older windows, when they were installed, they weren't fitted correctly and they were without air tightness tape or air tightness foam. So generally, if you walk up to a window in an existing home, if you put your hand on the reveal, you'll find it's a draft. So it's not only the draft coming from the frame and the glass, it's actually coming from how the window has also been fitted. So what we would recommend today for Ronan's house would be we put in a new thermally efficient window unit. So when I talk about window, I mean the whole window as a unit. So I'm talking about thermally efficient frame and I'm talking about thermally efficient glass. That's Oregon filled glass. And we would look at doing either a very good double glazing or a triple glazing option. And also, as well as looking at the whole window as a unit and getting the best U value possible, the install is very important. So when the window is installed, it's very important that there's air tightness foam or air tightness tape around the frame and this will stop any drafts getting in or out of the house. I know you to see <laughs> yeah. the back of the windows, yeah. you know, the, the windows are in bits, as I say, there's yeah. condensation in between the panes and even we'll the, tick the thickness of these new yeah. windows compared to the old windows, is, the new ones are huge compared to the old ones, so yeah. it's going to be a massive difference. And even with just the windows alone, it's going to make a huge difference to the house. Yeah. So in the next episode, we will be looking at the different types of insulation and which one is most suitable for the external walls of Ronan's home. So please join us. In the meantime, if you need any more information, please look at the Unpost Green Hub website.